Productions.com, and I would like to welcome you to Picking Episode 75. Now, you may be wondering where I got to that 75 number. That is actually a culmination of two numbers. If you've watched my channel before, if you've checked out the site before, you may have noticed that I have did 46 episodes of the review show that I did. OUPT's review show, and I did 28 episodes of OU Picking, the show in which I pick for antiques, shared my finds, showed profits, took you guys on the road, etc., etc. Now this, as I said, is Picking, episode 75. It's going to be a culmination of me. Basically, I'm going to do whatever I want to do in so many words. Um, you're going to see reviews of teas again. You're going to see reviews of craft beer. You're going to see some antique finds, some on the road footage when I go picking at flea markets and auctions. You're going to see some interviews of people I meet out on the road. Also right here in the office, you're going to see me interviewing people that I do business with on a regular basis, people that I converse with, people that I work with. You're basically going to get to learn a lot about me. Now, I can't guarantee that there's going to be an episode every day, every week, bi-weekly. At this point, I just don't know. But, that being said, I'm extremely excited for this concept and extremely excited for the future. Before we get into today's episode, picking episode 75, I want to just thank a few people. I actually have a list here of people that I'm thanking. This is a list of things I want to do in the show as well. I'm going to try to get this organized to the point that I want it to be. I want to thank Chad and Jen, two friends of mine who have gave me motivation and kind words to continue the tea reviews and you know just making web shows in general. Thank you guys. I would like to thank Terry from uh, Terry's Tea. So I'm going to be reviewing another one of his teas here today. Thank you, Terry. I would like to thank my friend Chris, um, Chris Burke. Great influence, great guy, great friend. Thanks so much for everything you've done for me. And again, thanks for the kind words put towards the show. Uh, I want to get through a few quick more. Thank you, Jack. Jack the Unknown Picker from Pickers Inc. Balance to Scale. Great guy. I love your videos. Become a pretty good friend with him. Awesome guy. Also want to thank the ladies from Some Like It Used. Loved being in their picker challenge about a week ago now. Awesome, awesome stuff. And finally, for now, there's a lot of other people I'd love to thank, but I'm going to try to keep this a little bit short. Thank you, Redneck Picker. You're one of the main reasons I started sharing my finds in the first place. Thank you so much. You're an inspiration to all of us in the picker community. And I'm going to try to... Uh, obviously continue with the picker community but also expand in general all right now moving on we're going to start today with a tea review extremely excited for that have not reviewed a tea on camera for many many months you can go back and check out episode 46 of the review show the last episode ever to see uh the last tea i reviewed i honestly don't even remember at this point but today, I am excited because I have some Terry's Teas. This brand is delicious. You may remember, or you may not remember, but way back in January, I took a trip down to Florida, and I met this man, Terry, at the Renningers of um, Mount Dora, Florida flea market. He was selling his tea, giving away free samples. I purchased a few varieties. I already reviewed the carrot cake on my channel, so go back and check out the review show for that. This right here is Terry's Tea's Calming Mind. And uh, before I get into this a little bit more, check them out on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Terry's Teas. That is uh, T-E-R-R-Y-S-T-E-A-Z. 
or go to terrystees.com. All right, now, this is their Calming Mind. It's got chamomile, citrus, rose hips, lemongrass, mint, and hibiscus. Smells delicious. I'm gonna, it's a loose leaf tea in this bag. Actually, there's, he was uh, toying around with the idea of putting out some bag teas. Not sure if he's going to do that or not. Smells very good. Smells very minty. Smells kind of like, like peppermint patty, maybe. Definitely smell the lemongrass. Really good, sweet, almost sweet tart-esque smell on the nose. Now this tea, I steeped it downstairs. It's been sitting, cooling down for a good maybe, I don't know, five, six minutes, something like that. It's in my, I got smashed in Miami Beach Cup. As you can see, the cup itself is smashed. I showed this on my channel before in the review show, but it's a Don of a Dune. It's a Don of a Dune. I don't know what I just said. It's the Don of a Dune, a new day right now, picking my life culminated in one show, episode 75, pumped. All right, calm it down, relax, calming mind. Let's get calm, let's try the tea. Let's go ahead and give it a smell here. Much of the same comes through in the nose. You've got the smell of lemon, you've got the smell of candy, you've got the smell of maybe like a lemon tea. That was a stupid statement. <laughs> what I meant to say was maybe like a, uh, an iced tea, Turkey Hill type thing, you know, uh, cold brew tea. You've got a little bit of mint in there for sure. Spearmint, maybe some spearmint gum. Ah, really, really good nose on this tea. Let's go ahead and give it a try here. Not good mint when you taste it, but it's not overbearing. Kind of a uh, sweet, sweet taste. Maybe like I just bit into a, like a lemon. Just put my mouth in the lemon. It's a yellow cup, so you can imagine me putting my mouth into a lemon. Ah! You know, something like that. Very, very good. Interesting taste. All kinds of flavors. Very sweet. If you like sweet things, and you like mint, and you love lemon, and you love all those, and you think you'd like them blended together, definitely try this tea. First review in many months. I'm back, and I'm going to have to go not huge, although I love Terry's teas. I'm going to go 8 out of 10. I think that's a very, very fair number to give this tea. Plus, it's also a good place to start, once again, with the tea reviews. Keep it low, make it maybe an even playing field for future teas reviewed. And one future tea reviewed, or future teas reviewed, is uh, my man Terry. I actually talked to him a little bit ago, and he's going to be sending me some samples to try in future episodes. Absolutely excited for that. And if you have some teas you'd love to send me, send me a message, or send me an email at brent at oginaproductions.com, and I'll give you the address, send me some tea, and I'll try it here in the show. I would love to, whether it's your brand, or whether it's some tea you just have sitting around the house. Whatever the case may be, hit me up. Very, very good tea. Very sweet, very good. All right. Now, let's get into a little bit something else here with recent finds. Here with some recent finds in this segment of the show, I'm going to do what I've always done, share some stuff that I've recently come across with you guys, and you're going to see some featured items up here that may be already for sale, may not yet be for sale, may be going down to one of my co-op booths. Speaking of which, September 1st, today, the day that I'm going to be uploading this video, I'm actually recording it the day before, today is August 31st. So, uh, kind of talking in the future here, but today, September 1st, OUP at Plaza Center in Belfont, Pennsylvania is officially opening. 
my second co-op retail location. Pumped for that. But anyway, so this is what this is going to be. Going to be sharing some items with you guys, talking about them. Today up here in the uh, little section we got here, we got the drink Coca-Cola sign, which is in my eBay store right now. It's up for, I believe, $75 or best offer. And we got the Pepsi barrel. That is also up in my eBay store right now for $100. Buy it now or best offer. So you can check out either one of these things by going to stores.ebay.com slash OUnit Productions. Now, in future episodes, I'm going to have many, many items to share with you guys like I've done in the past. You know, pick up one item, pick up one item, or just take the camera and show you items. But today, it's kind of a unique little format. One item I'm going to share with you guys, and it is actually a $5 bag of donuts. Yeah. No. <laughs> now this. Funny story. I got home from the flea market, brought this inside. In case you can't get a really good view, it's a bag with strawberries on it. An orange bag with red strawberries. I came home and I was like, to my girlfriend, I was like, hey, I got some donuts today. And she bought it. I mean, who wouldn't think these were donuts? <laughs> anyway, um, just a funny little story. This is actually an item that I purchased at the flea market that this older lady, great lady, I bought some good stuff from her, and I made some good money off of some of the items that I purchased from her in the past. And this one right here is the same, going to be the same. But anyway, she put it in this bag, so I had to walk around the rest of the flea market holding this bag. And just imagine some of the looks I was getting from, you know, guys that have been in this business for years and years. Here's this young guy walking around with a pink bag. Anyway, this item in the pink bag. Bye-bye, pink bag. Absolutely cool Ruff's Dairy milk bottle as I'm flying it around your view there. Ruff, Ruff's Dairy out of St. Clair, Michigan. Cool, cool piece. Got the advertising on the back that says building my future and plenty of milk each day. Um, great color on this piece. A lot of the times you see the writing faded. You see just different damage to the bottle. This is in almost perfect condition. I paid $5 for this item and I listed it yesterday on eBay for $5 or for $15 in a five day auction. I already have one bid at $15, so I already tripled my money, give or take fees, which these days eBay fees are just getting more and more ridiculous. But anyway, this is the item I wanted to share with you guys today, give you a little bit of backstory about the purchase and uh, I'll let you guys know in the future how this bottle goes. Um, curious what you guys think of it and what do you think it's going to go for. And that's pretty much it for today. Like I said, in future episodes we're going to go more and more in depth. We're going to have more finds. Today just keeping it short, keeping it sweet. Now let's get back to the desk and to a beer review. Alright guys, ending the episode at the desk one more time and I'm excited for this probably the most exciting part of this episode for me without a doubt right here you see Dogfish Head one of my favorite breweries out of Delaware this is their Sa Tea I've been wanting to try this beer for probably a year now but I've yet to do so Actually, when I relaunched the review show, took a little break from that, went back into it. This is the beer that I wanted to get for the, that first episode. But the store where I usually buy my beer didn't have it, and no other place in my town had it. So I kind of didn't have much of a choice. And September 1st, today, once again, this is being filmed ahead of time. But as you're watching this, September 1st, today, I might put it out a little bit earlier, so maybe you're watching this on August 31st. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Tea Month begins in September on OUnitProductions.com. So this is an awesome tea episode here. As I said, some of these are going to be more antique themed. Some of these are going to be more beer themed. Some of these are going to be more travel themed. Basically just whatever I'm feeling at that moment. Anyway, this Dogfish Head Sa Tea is an ale brewed with black chai tea and juniper berries, 9% alcohol, 
by volume, and this bottle right here is about twelve dollars. It's a uh, one pint, nine point six full ounces. Extremely, extremely, extremely excited for this. Let's go ahead and read what it says about it. Our sati is based on the traditional ninth, ninth century. Finish recipe for sati in that we brew it with rye and juniper and heat the wort with wood fired rocks. We break with tradition by adding an exotic black chai tea at the end of the boil. What more could you ask for? All right. And this one right here, this first sip, this is for Jack, the unknown picker, because I know that's a man that likes beer just as much as I do. Let's go ahead and break it open. Smoke billowing out the top, still coming. All right, let's go ahead and pour some of this. Let's see what color we got. Much lighter than I expected. Almost like a, a honey color. That, oh my God. Amazing nose, very unique nose. Not like any beer I don't think I've ever smelled in the past. It's got a honey smell, it's got a rye bread smell, is that the bread that they said they used? Ba, 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 ba. I don't know. I could have swore I read something about rye bread. <laughs> Maybe I was just hallucinating. Yeah, with rye and juniper. Alright, so it smells kind of like rye bread to me, so it's a good thing I'm not going crazy. Kind of a dark nose, maybe a little bit of an over-the-top nose. If you're not a beer drinker, you might not like this just by the smell. My girlfriend, for example, she doesn't really drink any beer anymore because she's got an issue with carbonation. But, long story. But, <laughs> this the smell alone will put her off. Let's go ahead and give it a try here. That is a deep, dark beer right there. It's got a like a sweet caramel taste. It's got a little bit of chocolate action going on. It's got a little bit of I don't know if I would say tea, honestly. The, the tea's really not coming through for me. Let me try it again here. It's pretty good. Um, not hope, not really what I was hoping, but again and again. Then again, I'm really not sure what I was hoping for or expecting. Pretty good, not amazing. $12 bottle of beer. I'm gonna have to go seven out of 10, just because I feel like I was let down a little bit. Let me try it one more time, just to be fair. A little bit too tart, tangy, lemony. Just a little too tangy and tart for me honestly like it's not my not my cup of tea not my cup of beer tea all right seven out of ten we're gonna stick with it and i'm gonna get ready to wrap up today's show promise a lot is on the way tons of antique finds lots of on the road footage i'm gonna go to more flea markets and share that footage with you guys intertwined with the in the office footage I was thinking about doing some um, Skype interviews, some live Skype interviews, integrating those into the show. I was thinking about, as I said, the interviews with people I know, people I'm about to meet, just whatever's on my mind on that particular episode. Well, I'm just curious, what do you guys think? What would you like to see incorporated into the show? And I think one thing that I'm going to just pull off the top of my head right now is a question. Question of the week. Let's end the show with the question of the week. This week's question of the week. If you could only go out from now on to flea markets, yard sales, auctions, estate sales, etc., and look for only one kind of item, we're talking beer signs, gold watches, rusty bicycles, um, stamps, baseball cards, whatever. If you could only go out and look for one particular item and purchase that one particular item from now on and make money off of that item, whatever the case may be, what would that item be for you? 
for me, I would have to go with soda signs. Coke signs, Pepsi signs, Dad's root beer signs, soda signs. What would you guys pick if that was the case and you had to pick one item? Pull that off the top of my head. Maybe the questions will get better each week, or maybe you can uh, post a comment down below and suggest a question. The show is going to grow with each episode. I thank you for watching. Stay tuned to T-Month, September 2011 on OUnitProductions.com, and I'll be back again soon with another episode of Picking. Until then, shoot me off an email, brent at OUnitProductions.com. Hit up my Facebook, facebook.com slash OUnitProductions. Hit me up on Twitter, twitter.com slash OUP, or just go to OUnitProductions.com. All right, cheers, guys. Thanks.